Wow, what a neat little contraption I got here. This is my boat-based player launcher that flings the player hundreds of blocks up into the air or hundreds of blocks out over diagonally to the side based on the mechanics of hitboxes and boats. So in this video, I'm going to explain how the boats work to fling you so far. I'm going to explain what each circuit of this does, and I'm going to give a tutorial on how to build it. First, let me explain the boats. Take, for example, you have an entity. We will use a horse for this example, because that's the first thing I grabbed. Here is a horse. When you walk into the horse, you push it, and it pushes you. If I turn on hitboxes, you can see this is the hitbox of the horse, and when the player's hitbox, intersects with the horse's hitbox, it pushes both entities. <laughs> but now let's look at a boat. Boats are larger entities that the player can ride in. They also abide by the law of if your hitbox intersects with it, it pushes and you get pushed too. But what happens with a boat is when it's blocked off on all sides so that it can't go anywhere, then it doesn't move and it pushes you rather far. Like that's further than the horse would have done. So what this machine does is it uses a little bit over a hundred boats and all their hitboxes are together. They're all being pushed, pushing each other up against these chains here. And when your hitbox intersects, it flings you. Quickly while I reset the contraption, let me give uh, props to this guy on screen right now. I watched some of his videos and he was doing a lot of crazy things with boats and their hitboxes and it inspired me to make this system retractable and easy to build on servers and not get everyone pissed. Specifically this video that I'm popping up on the screen right now. Uh, all these links are in the description if you want to go check them out, they're pretty cool videos. Alright, now that this is all reset and all of those boats in there are back in the chest, I am going to explain to you how each of these circuits works. And by the way, when it gets blown up by the TNT, every boat does drop. So after you craft the first two double chests, you're never going to craft anymore unless, you know, you lose them and they despawn. So first let me explain how this works. You stand on this iron block and all the boats are summoned up in here. What you do is you get right in front of them and then you press S and spam jump so that you activate your elytra and it flings you upwards. But if you just want to move forward, then don't spam jump, just jump once while holding S. Alright, so let me explain how this works. First you have this button as the input to start and dispense all the boats out here. 
After there are already all of the boats dispensed, you cannot press this button again. It will break the system, okay? Okay. This button can be either wood or stone, it's just birch here because I like the color of birch. Now when you press this button, it does multiple things. Let's start over here. First what it does is it activates this note block, which sends a signal up through this observer, powering this block, which then QCs this sticky piston right here. And the sticky piston extends and retracts, pulling this observer back into this position, which creates a really fast clock, which powers and unpowers this block and this dust, which causes all of these droppers and dispensers to fire. Uh, these three just resupply this one dispenser, and the one dispenser puts all the boats in this se section. Now the second thing that this button does is it comes down here and it activates this small pulse extender circuit. Uh, by deactivating this torch, it allows this torch to turn on and this block to become unpowered, which will make the stack and a half of items in this chain start flowing across, which will cause this comparator to turn on for a certain amount of time, which is enough time to have all of the boats dispensed in here. Then this observer detects when the comparator turns on and off as the, for the pulse extender, and then this observer takes the signal from this one, carries it over to this block, which QCs this sticky piston. And what happens is when the comparator first turns on, this observer moves to this position, which does nothing. Then when it turns off, the observer gets pulled back and it powers and unpowers this lamp really quickly, which fires a double pulse into here, causing the observer to be pulled up and retracted. And what that does is that activates this repeater which activates this note block, causing this observer to be activated and extending this piston. Then this gets unactivated because the observer is pulled down and this retracts the glass block. Then because this block is being powered, this next repeater can also be powered and that is detected by this observer here and this observer, which then powers this block and then quickly does the same thing like that where it powers and unpowers it. And what that does is that pushes all the blo all the boats from being over here to being pushed right up against the chain so you can more easily press your body into them. And then these are the chests to put all your boats in and they flow into these droppers which resupply the dispenser. And then also, you saw it earlier, there is a reset button. You press it here and it dispenses a TNT blows up all the boats, they all drop as items, every single one, you don't lose anything, and you can put them back in the chests for them to be redistributed. Also what's going to happen though is there is going to be seven boats missing from inside this dropper. After you load them all into the chest, you're going to need to load the last seven that remain into this dropper. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to start on the tutorial on how to build it. If you want, there is a Lightmatica file on how to build this in the description. For you guys to download. Alright, to start, here are your materials. You are going to need 14 building blocks of any kind as long as they're solid, 5 sticky pistons, 11 observers, 1 dispenser, 1 comparator, 4 note blocks, 3 droppers, 1 target block, 1 redstone lamp, 2 slabs of any kind, 1 redstone dust, 1 water bucket, 4 hoppers, 2 buttons of any kind, 1 composter, 4 chests, two repeaters, four chains, and one torch. The composter is optional. It's really only here for lag reduction, but that reduction is minimal. So if you don't want the composter, you don't really need it. All right, so let's start with the block that you're gonna stand on. This is the first building block that you're placing down, so now we have 13 left. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come one block out diagonally like this and place your button on it. This is your start button. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull out your torch, and this is where you put the redstone torch. Now you want to come out and down like that, 
So you can place this one redstone dust right next to the torch. Place another block next to it and a comparator facing into this into this block and taking from this dust right here. Next you're going to get the target block and you're going to place it there to redirect the signal into itself. And you're going to take your second torch and place that here to complete this part. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your hoppers and this is the actual part that is the pulse extender. And what you're going to want is, like I said earlier, there is a stack and a half of dummy items that just has to go inside there and perfect. Just like that. It could be literally anything as long as it stacks up to 64. Alright, now this is where the optional part comes in. You can put the composter on top of the second hopper, but it's not really necessary. So I'm going to remove it. It'll be in the other one, but not in this one. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your building block and place it on top of that target block there. You're going to place your second redstone dust on top. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your observer and have it facing into this block here. And you're going to take your next observer and have it facing out on the side like this. Then you're going to take your sticky piston and that is going to pull the observer back and create the clock. Okay, now next what you want to do is you're going to create the part that actually does that. So you're going to place a note block there, an observer there, your building block here, and another note block there. What that does is it creates a block update here, which is then detected. The observer then buds this block and causes an update to chain through the note block and extend the piston. Beautiful. Alright, the next part of the circuit is going to require you to get a little further down of what you just made. You're going to place an observer looking into that comparator there, then another one taking the output from there, and place your building block here. Next, you're going to put your note block underneath and a sticky piston over on the side with a downwards facing observer. What this does is it detects the update in the comparator, takes that, chains it, beautiful. Next you're going to put your redstone lamp here and another observer and then a another sticky piston and another observer. Wow! Now is when you want to take out your slabs. You want to place one there and one there. You want to get out your repeaters. Place one here, put it on three ticks. And place your last one there, put that on three ticks. Next what you're going to do is take a note block, put it in the middle there. Take a observer, put that there. And place an observer on top of each of those two blocks. Then what you want to do is you want to put your building blocks there and there and take your sticky pistons and place them here and here. And what you can do is you can place a building block in there, 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 and there. This is just a system to push the boats into place into the chains. Then the next thing you can do is you can take your dispenser, place that, um, you, yeah, place that here facing upwards over on the side of there and place another dispenser here facing into it. This is your dispenser to dispense the boats and this is the dispenser to dispense the TNT. And you can place another block up there and your button down there to fire that dispenser. Now we can get into the droppers. You can place one there facing over onto here and another one facing into this dispenser and you can place your third one up facing down into this dropper here. Then you can take your hoppers and place one there and one there and you can take your chests and just place them in now. One, two, three, and four. Beautiful. This is your boat storage. Alright, now final touches. You need to take your chains and you need to place them vertically like this so that 
there's enough space in between here for the boats to be lined up. And finally, you want to take your water, place it in there, and beautiful, you have your launcher. And to show that you have built this right, let's test this. You're going to fill up your dispenser with boats, and then you're going to fill up each of these three droppers with boats. And then finally, you're going to fill up each of your double chests filled to the brim with boats because if you have the stack and a half in here like I recommended, then it's going to use all of these boats and it's going to launch you a pretty decently long distance. And then what you can do is you can go and you can load TNT into this dispenser as the reset button. And it should all work if you stand on this block, press that. All of the boats get dispensed and... Perfect. These blocks extended, pushing these boats into place, and if I turn on hitboxes, you can see that the hitbox of the boat lines up perfectly with the hitbox of the chains. Then, oh god, I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get bumped if you try and walk close to that thing, which I guess is good, because that is the point of why we made it. But basically, stand in here, walk up to it, back, and then just jump and back at the same time, and it'll launch you. It's even better with your elytra, because it just yeets you into the sky. Alright, like I said, there is a Lightmatica file in the description, and you should go check out the other guy who inspired me to do this. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed your boat-powered player launcher.